Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to determine the sum of interior angles of a polygon. It could be a regular polygon or an irregular polygon. So let's draw a simple polygon and see how we can go about it. So we're going to have a simple polygon like that. Let's see what will happen. Let's see what will happen. We have a polygon here with five sides. If we divide this polygon into triangles using the vertices like that, and please make sure that the triangles do not overlap. Here I can draw the triangle like this or like this. Any can work, can do. So we have those triangles. How many sides is this polygon? One, two, three, four, five. How many triangles? One, two, three. We know that the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. 180 degrees times one, two, three triangles will give you 540 degrees. Okay, let's draw another polygon and see what happens again. Let's draw another polygon like that. So we're going to draw a polygon now with more sides than this one. This had five sides. Let's see when it has more sides what happens. How many sides here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's divide it into triangles. One, two, I can draw one here or here, you know, provided the triangles do not overlap or these lines do not intersect. So we have six a six-sided uh, polygon, the hexagon, and we have one, two, three, four, four triangles. Each triangle will have interior angles adding up to 180 degrees. 180 degrees times four is 720 degrees. Please make some observations here that the number of sides of the polygon and the number of triangles it's divided into have a relationship for all polygons, at least for the two polygons that we have taken. Here we have five sides of the polygon and three triangles, a difference of two. Here we have a six-sided polygon and we have four triangles, also a difference of two. That means if n is the number of sides of the polygon minus 2, you'll get the number of triangles that you get when you divide the polygon into triangles. You get n minus 2. And when you multiply n by 180 degrees, you are going to get the sum of the interior angles of the polygon. When you remove brackets here, you're going to get 180 degrees n minus 180 times 2 is 360 degrees. And therefore, we can say that sum of interior angles, sum of interior angles of a polygon can be given by 180 degrees times n minus 2, which can be simplified to 180 degrees n minus 360. So please, I'll advise you not to cram this formula, but understand the concept. And that is how we find the sum of interior angles of any given polygon.